What is going on guys? Trevor here with Embers. Today I'm really excited. Uh, we're doing our number one fan favorite video and uh, it's long overdue. We have a brand new pa, 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 top five linear electric fireplaces. This is by far our most popular top five that we make. And the reason we're already remaking it is it's really exciting in the electric showroom. We have like four or five brand new models in here and I'm stinking excited. A lot of innovation going on, ton of new product. Let's get to it, let's go. Okay, so I, this is our third or fourth iteration, reiteration, iteration of our new top, of our top five linear electrics. The reason we have to remake this one so much is because I would say it's the fastest growing category and it has the most amount of innovation compared to other categories that we review. And uh, I, I knew new models were coming out and because of COVID, new models got pushed out, pushed out, pushed out. So I was like, I can't take it anymore. We gotta make a new one. So we made a new one last year, um, but I knew new stuff was in the works. The day has finally come where all that new stuff is here. And what you're gonna see so we have five models that consists of only three different manufacturers. Isn't that crazy? Like we've narrowed it down to three manufacturers. The reason is, is what's happening is there's so much innovation going on by some brands that it's leaving the other brands by the wayside. So for example, in our last top five video, you saw the disappearance of um, Napoleon. I love the brand Napoleon. It's one of my favorite brands. Uh, their electric fireplaces have not been innovative the last couple of years and you see in them push down the list because they're getting squeezed out by better innovative brands. This year's no different. Some of the brands that you saw in last year's top five are being squeezed out. They're just not gonna make it. So let's, I'll go over a few of those before we get into the top five and then as we get into the top five, you'll see why some of these brands are not, didn't make the list. Also, if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today, check out all these new products. And uh, if you're new to our channel, subscribe, thumbs up us, TikTok us, Facebook us, Snapchat us. Uh, Chris reminds me that we don't have Snapchat. We have Instagram, we have Vine. No, we don't have Vine. They don't do Vine anymore. All right, just follow us, it helps us out a lot. All right, let's get to a few honorable mentions. All right, so last year, this is the same honorable mention. We had the Amante Bespoke Series. So it made the honorable mention because I really liked the way that they updated their flame pattern here, more of a stencil style design. And um, it's just really, I think, really attractive. It's done really well. And the reason I wanted to mention it again is they've expanded the bespoke line. So it used to be this six inches deep, only available in a 50 and 60 inch. Now there's a 74 inch, and then they've expanded to like the Amante Extra Tall, which is 12 inches deep, and then gives us a ton of different, you know, widths that we can deal with, and then also gives us a ton of different log options. So we have a lot of media choices and a ton of variety that we can play around. I'm saying a ton a lot, I don't like that. I don't like when I get word whiskers, it irritates me. Anyways, you'll see, this would be like a two hour long video. Um, if I went crazy in depth on each model. So if you want in-depth reviews on one specific model that we're talking about, we'll include links below where we can spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes on a video. By the way, a guy left a comment the other day, actually last night, blew me away. He said, you only reviewed this barbecue for 22 minutes. And he's like, I would appreciate like a two or three hour review. And I'm pretty sure he wasn't being sarcastic. I'm like, I cannot review a grill for three hours. Can't do it. So. Sorry guy, you're just gonna have to live with the 22 minute barbecue review, which to me seemed long. I mean, I'm getting way off topic. Okay, let's do one more honorable mention. All right, so this is another, this is another example. Last year we lost Napoleon. They fell out of the top five. This year we've lost uh, Net Zero. So they just came on the scene actually, and it's, it's, it's uh, it kind of is what it is. It's, it's a great product, we love it. It has all the multicolor features. And again, if you wanna watch that review, I encourage you to go back and look at it. Uh, it's a really nice, nice unit, but there's two things I think 
well, three reasons. One will be, I don't want to spoil, I'll get into that later. But two main reasons it, as cool as I think it is, that wasn't, I think, prohibitive for clients was it uh, is too expensive, so the price is too high. It's just not in line with what we're seeing in the market. So the pricing just doesn't line up, unfortunately. And so it's cost prohibitive. The second reason is there's no heater option. So for if you're doing like a, you know, an insert option like this, that's fine, but a lot of people, surprisingly, like heat with their fireplaces, go figure. Um, so no heat option, that was been another prohibitive problem selling this reason, or selling, the, <coughs> selling this fireplace. But the biggest reason why this dropped out of the top five, I'll get to here in a minute. But the point is, if there's a lot of good, exciting innovation going on in the, in the electric field, and if you're not innovating, you're dropping out of the top five because really cool stuff is coming out. That's the point. So get innovating. All right, time for number five. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. Okay, number five is gonna be the Modern Flames Landscape Series. So you can see we have the Landscape Slim and then the Landscape Multi or the Deep Model. So this year, last year, I think this was three or four. So you, again, same thing. You're seeing it fall down the list. Uh, that's because Modern Flames has come out with cool new stuff. So they, by their own default, have knocked down their own model with a new model, which I'll get into in a second. Why did Modern Flames make the top five? Let's talk about the company a little bit. So they're based out of Phoenix. What I love about Modern Flames, um, they have great customer service for the homeowners and for me. That's good for both of us. Uh, really good warranty and they stand behind their products, which is always important with the fireplace manufacturer. And then also they do all their own r and which I'll be getting into later, uh, in Phoenix. So they have engineers down there. They're always playing with stuff. They do drop tests with their packaging. So you're just making, you're just ensuring they're getting a good quality product. So the multi is obviously deeper uh, and you can do different logs and stuff. And, and like I said, one of the cool features with this is gonna be the multicolor features. So we have a full color wheel and then I'll show you over here on the slim. We have the full color wheel here and we can change the background. We can change the uh, ember bed as well as the down lighting as well. Now me personally, their, their you know, pro model is, is considered like a nicer model. I actually like the slim. The slim is my favorite model. It fits in a two by six wall. I love the Invisimesh screen. I think it really fills a niche if you have a crazy bright room with a lot of natural light. I think this Invisimesh screen keeps the least amount of reflection and it keeps the focus on the fire. And I also like that this fire is for flame forward. So our ember bed's small and the flame is more towards the front of the wall. I think what happens with like the Landscape Pro a little bit, this is just me, is that flame is all the way in the back and it's 12 inches back and then our media is out front and that flame looks too far back to me. A lot of people say it looks like the background of like a fish tank or something and um, a lot of fireplaces are guilty of that problem. I think the deep does that a little bit, uh, but it's still a great product. But out of the two, I personally prefer the slim. So it made the top five because they have a really nice flame pattern. They also use some sort of stenciling or I haven't taken it apart lately, so I can't remember exactly. Uh, but it has a stenciling pattern. It has all the multicolors. I love the non-glare. They're one of the only brands that offers this Invisimesh screen. And uh, it's made by a good quality company that stands behind their products. Because that's what happens in electric fireplaces is everyone and their grandma wants to get in the electric fireplace game. So there's 200 brands. They want it creates product confusion. And two, uh, it could be, you know, the brand of the week before they, you know, sell their their uh, you know, private label product they bought from China and you may, not, may or may not get service from them in a year or two. So this is a good reputable brand uh, that you know is gonna be around and gonna stand behind their products. So that's why they, this particular brand or product made the top five. All right, should we get to number four? All right, coming in at number three, or no, we're on number four. Coming in at number four, pa, is gonna be the, forgot what it's called. <laughs> It's gonna be the European Home Linnea series. Now this was in the top five last year, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. These guys still made the cut, 
but they're number four. I know they were higher last year. I can't remember what number they were. But again, same thing. You start to see stuff slide because this has been in the top five for a few years now and uh, we need to see some innovation from European homes. That being said, it's still one of our most popular units. I think it looks great. Remember how I said this guy, the flame's too far in the background? Well, this has that same thing, but it has more of a reflective feature. So you can see their logs on the other side of the flame. So even though that flame's in the back with that, with that illusion of the mirror, it creates the, the visual effect that the flame is in the middle of the firebox and not all the way on that back wall. So this is the 60 inch. Unfortunately, that's as big as the multicolor comes. You can do a 72 inch, but your orange flame only. And just like the uh, multi up here, you can do open corner. So you do left corner, right corner, flat front. One of the best features I like about this fireplace and especially the feedback we get from our clients is going to be the logs. So I think they have one of the most attractive log sets out of any electric fireplace in here, I would say. It's one of my favorites, if not my favorite log set. So their logs really sell a lot of these fireplaces and they, their flames are just different. I don't know if it's better or worse, but it's unique. It's not the same as everyone else's. It sort of has that ribbon style flame to it. But what's really cool is they have a full app. So I showed this in the video, so we won't spend a other video. I won't spend a lot of time on it, but we can do different themes. We can change the theme here and really play around with, with what we like. And then we can also just set it to like standard colors too. We can adjust the brightness on our flame. We can also adjust the brightness on our ember bed. And then we can also adjust the speed of our flame. So we can speed it up, we can slow it down. So we can kind of have some fun with it. And then we can also set the heater to a thermostat, just a basic 110 heater in this. If you guys want to see a more in-depth review, I have it on this, but we just don't have the time in this video. So we're, we're going a little quicker here. We'll include all the links below if you want the full length review. Complaints, what feedback have we gotten in the field about this unit? really only one and uh there is no there's a there's a manual on off switch right here outside of that the only way to control this fireplace is going to be through your app my only frustration and we get probably the only thing we get calls on is if one if you lost your tablet or if you didn't have your phone handy um, and then sometimes there's connection issues. So it won't always sync with your device, which isn't a huge deal, except visually it's, it'll be stuck on whatever color it was last left on until that app fixes itself. So a little feedback for European Home is if you gave us a hard remote with this unit, uh, I think, especially for some of our older clients, it would solve a lot of frustrations. But that's not a huge biggie, still a fan favorite. I think it still looks fantastic. It functions very well, meets a lot of needs. That's why it's in the top five. All right, let's get to number three. Coming in at number three, pa pa, it's gonna be the Dimplex Optimist Series. So before I'd always talk about the Dimplex Optimist as just kind of a unit. They'd have a 40 inch box and a 60 inch box or you could do just the cassettes, 40 inch cassette or 60 inch cassette or 20 inch, I guess. And so you could do them as an insert or like, you know, a freestanding firebox. Well, they've expanded that line. So they have their traditional optimist. So, so they still have the traditional firebox and I've done this in loads of videos and this is still gonna be in their lineup. So this comes in a 40 inch and a 60 inch. And the biggest attractive feature to this is the really bright glowing logs. People love the glowing logs. I have the flame off right now so you can see how focused on those logs. So if you love those logs, you'll wanna stick with this unit. And you guys have probably also seen my video on the Faber lineup. So the Faber lineups, they sort of recreated the Optimist into more traditional figure configuration instead of the long linear style fireplace. So this is great and a nice improvement too, because there's a fan in the top of that box, that box that's gonna pull that flame upwards. So even though it's a tall firebox, it's really gonna fill it up. I think the logs are super attractive as well. And I remember earlier when I was talking about Net Zero, let's go back and talk about them for one second. So the reason Net Zero fell off, the biggest reason and the biggest selling feature, I would say 
why every customer bought Net Zero over an Optimist, the number one reason was the ability to do multicolor. That was like a game changer. The fact that we had a mist type configuration in a multicolor was huge. Did you guys know that the Optimist officially has multicolor features? It's new, so I don't ac actually have mine here at the store. Chris is gonna cut to the footage, but that's why this unit dropped out, is once Optimist, in my opinion, now the Optimist has the multicolor, it's a fraction of the price, and uh, it's just it just kind of drops this guy down, unfortunately. So with the new Optimist multicolor, we'll be able to do standalone fireboxes and or you know linear fireboxes and i think the dimensions are 44 66 and 88 so we have a bigger size even or you'll be able to do insert cassettes like this so you'll have two options for multicolor features but we'll still have the traditional 40 inch that i showed you if you like the bright glowing logs chris cut to the footage just sitting by the fire staying nice and cozy this is the brand new optimist Check this guy out. It has multicolor features now, and you can play with the colors. So you can go in here and you can change all the colors yourself. It has seven colors you can cycle through. Now it's using actual water, but what's cool about this one is it's now in a sealed system, so the wind or anything can't affect that flame, and it just looks absolutely fantastic. This is the Optimist. If you guys want to check out the full YouTube video, go over to our channel, watch the full review on this. So you can see in that video, the Optimist, I think, has a much richer flame. So it has a taller and better flame than the Net Zero product. Plus, they've integrated the multicolor features. And this is what I'm talking about with innovation. I've known that that multicolor unit's been coming out for since pre-pandemic. And uh, I saw a prototype of it. I actually posted a video, if you go back and look, like March 2020, like literally the week before the pandemic. Uh, obviously, that got delayed and uh, there was no timeline set. But now we have pricing on it. We are gonna be putting the pre-orders up on our website. If you wanna order it, call us. We can, we can take an order, because we have pricing and sizing. I don't have full cut sheets and everything yet, uh, but we're looking at first quarter of 2023 is when those will be available to ship. And uh, Dimplex is just one of the leaders in innovation. There's really, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's get to number two. All right, so here's number two, and uh, very, very excited. I would say that this is the most highly anticipated fireplace, electric fireplace, like, of all time. Right, Chris? It is. Same reason. So this came out, uh, I posted a video of it pre-pandemic. And, uh, well, actually, I didn't. I saved it because I knew it was not going to come. Uh, we started taking pre-orders on them, I think, summer of 2020 and it delayed 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 customers some of you customers i can't believe it guys like you've been hanging on and your products starting to ship now uh thank you thank you for staying with us uh and working through it with dimplex but it took a couple years and some of you guys have been waiting on fireplace for two years not important to what i'm talking about here so the number two is gonna be the Dimplex Ignite series now. So we still have the original Dimplex Ignite, which used to be our number one. Aren't you guys curious what number one is now? Like if the bold is out, it should be even better. So it should be clear cut number one, right? Well, what the heck is number one? Anyways, what do we love about the Ignite series? The regular Ignite is still gonna be in the lineup and uh, it still has its advantages. You know, it fits in a two by six wall, so it's definitely gonna be easier install versus the Bold. By the way, if you wanna see an in-depth review of these two, I break them down separately. Chris will post that video down below. But what do we love about the Ignite XL? Um, we love that it has the best heater in the industry. I still think it, I still think out of all top five, it still has the best heater, it has the quietest heater. It goes 110 or 220. Uh, and it's like a variable thermostat type unit, and I still think it has the best heater, period. So what else do we love about this? Honestly, it's the flame. Like something about this flame, people come in here and I've worked with customers and they'll be in here checking out units for an hour or so, and they kind of brush, not brush it off, but throw this one on the back burner and they'll start playing with other units. And it's like the longer they're in this room, 
the more that they prefer this flame the best. And so this has the fl same flame patterns on this guy, but what upgrades are we getting with the Bold that we're not getting with the regular Ignite? Well, of course, one is gonna be the depth. So notice these logs. That depth allows us to have the much bigger media in here as well. So they've added the multicolor. So now we don't have just orange or yellow flame like the regular Ignite, but now we have blue that we can add to it too. So there's just orange. What I just showed you was just blue. There's just the orange on sort of a brighter level. Now you can see it kind of has the same flame pattern as the original, which is cool because that was the fan favorite. But then also the blue option, when you go to that, almost adds like a second type of stencil to it. And then there they are all together. So they're running at different sort of patterns, which I think helps with the randomization of the product. And then we can change our ember bed color just like we can with the regular Ignite. What do you like, Chris? I kind of like it off, personally. I think it look, makes the flame look the best, stand out the most. And I think it's gonna give you the best look at the fire. Also forgot to mention is uh, another big feature of this is it does have Wi-Fi. So, or Bluetooth, I can't remember which one, but you'll be, either way, you'll be able to control it on your phone. Their app is not fully functional yet, but rest assured, you'll have phone app ability with this guy. So let's pick one we like here while we talk about it. Let me show you with the, the white on. So again, kind of like the European home is they, this is reflective on purpose and look what that reflection does. Doesn't it look like the flames coming up out of the middle even though it's a deep firebox? It looks like those logs are also on the backside. Does the camera pick that up, Chris? Yep. That, that reflection, I think it shows better when you have the colors on. You can see that that flame looks like it's in the middle of the fireplace, which is what I think makes it so attractive. So there it is off. Now, another cool thing is we, we can also adjust the speed of the flame, okay? So we have low. The low is kind of cool because it gives you a better idea of the flame pattern. You can see it more in action. And I like that that flame really travels up the box. Now, these, the reason for that stencil is going to be, it creates a nice contrast. So we have a black background with bright flames instead of a fully washed out background, which is annoying sometimes. All right, let's change our speed up a little bit. There's like medium. There's fast, what do you like? Medium. Medium, all right, let's go back to medium. Like that one? No, one still more, that one. Or is that one still too slow? That one. Yeah, I like that flame pattern too. Also with the bold, it's taller. So you can see it's taller than the smaller or the uh, thinner one. And it's also a little more clean face design. And that's just because they achieved that clean face design because of the depth. They're able to not do that frame as much. Also, you can do open ends. So you can do left end, right end open, or full three-sided. And then also what's really unique about this guy, and this would be probably more in a commercial application, but you can couple these units together, which is super awesome, I think. So you can couple them together and make a fireplace as stinking long as you want. That's really cool. No one else does anything like that. The other reason it's our number two ranked fireplace is a uh, five-year warranty with the best heater by a company that innovates. Uh, Dimplex is definitely one of my favorite companies when it comes to innovation. They're always innovating and R&Ding cool new products and they stand behind it with five-year warranty. That's pretty stinking cool. And they've already taken the most popular fireplace in our entire showroom and made it better. So this, this unit right here, before this came out, before these new models came out, I would say we'd sell this probably five to one, honestly, over anything else. So it's by far our most popular. So I would expect the same from this. I would anticipate this being one of our best sellers, uh, probably become our best selling fireplace. Another thing I forgot to mention is the tint. There's a tint on this glass. So I think that helps, it keeps the reflection in the firebox. So it looks like that flames on the backside but it has a darker tint, so I don't think you see the reflection quite as bad, you know, standing in front of it. And I, it definitely works. All right, you guys ready for number one? I know what you're thinking, this thing's awesome. Like, what the heck could number one be? Let's show you. All right, coming in at number one, pa, 
is gonna be the Modern Flames Orion Multi or the Slim. So again, just like we did the Ignite as the uh, regular Ignite XL in the Bold as a series, this is gonna be the same. So this is the multi-unit, 52 inch multi-unit that we have here. Um, there's also the Slim series, which is gonna fit in a, I think a two by six wall. And uh, the flame is gonna be the exact same. And I'll show you some video overlays of it here shortly, but we're reviewing these together as a series. So why in the heck is this number one? Well, I'm not gonna get into it too much because I just did like a 20 minute video on it. If you wanna hear the history about this product and how the technology sort of came to be, I'll include the link below if you wanna watch it. But essentially it's a virtual fireplace where it's actually using like LCD panels to create a real flame. Now what's so cool about this is they actually uh, went to a movie studio and had a movie studio professionally shoot different flames. Uh, they had wood burning, they had gas burning, and what's really cool, I think what's cool about it, is we can change the style of the flame. Oh, that's the one I'm already on. So obviously it's app based, so it works on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I like this one because there's a lot of sparks and smoke in it, which I think is really cool. And then we can play with like the different colors if we want. And then also within that color, we can change our speed. So that's fast or we could go like slow. Is it changing? Yeah, there it goes. I personally like it as uh, on fast. And then we can change it back to the default color. So what's really cool is they have like a default button. So at any point in time, you can go back to like the stock color if you want. And then they have a third flame option. And that's gonna be the gas model. So this is gonna supposed to, you know, replicate <coughs> replicate more of a gas fireplace. And then from there, you can see we have uh, up lighting. So we have our ember bed here and we can change how bright that is. And then we can also make it any color we want too. So a ton of flexibility on what we're gonna do with that. And then there's also a top night light. I do think the top light allows you to see the log set a little bit better. Don't you think Chris or no? Yeah. All right, let's go purple. Nice. There we go or green, whatever you wanna do. Okay, also, like the bold, you can see it's op the multi allows us to do open corners, or you can do it completely flat front like we have the bold set up too. Nice clean face glass, nice tall glass, and again, we have the tinted window which is gonna help with reflection, and you can see the background does have reflection to it, and again, this is a risk reward, and I think the reward far outpaces the risk is it it looks like the flame is coming up out of the, the middle of the logs and it looks like there's also a set of logs on the backside because I think it would have been catastrophic if they made this without, catastrophic is a bit aggressive. I think it's good that they made it with reflection because we don't want, like, like this for example, we don't want that flame looking like it's all the way in the back. It's just not attractive and it's not realistic. So this gives us that nice realistic look Let's go back to stock here. Also, this guy comes in a bunch of different sizes. I think 50, 60, 70 something, and 96, I wanna say. And then what else I really love about it is obviously it's Wi-Fi based. It has audio so you can hear the crackling uh, of the fire itself. And it's got a 110 heater or a 220 heater and you can control everything within the app. And I think the app works really well. It's very intuitive, very easy to use. So why is this number one? Honestly, it's number one because I think next to doing like an optimist where you actually have a three dimensional flame, I think they have the best looking flame. And honestly, I think they crack the code in a sense where we can change flames. I think that that is huge. And the reason why I personally think that that's so important is um, you wouldn't believe how the subjectivity there is with electric fireplaces. I have one person come in and they're like, this is the ugliest fireplace I've ever seen in my entire life. I hate it. Literally the next customer will come in and be like, that is the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. And you're just like, what? What is happening? I don't understand. Everyone's different. They crack the code 
by having so much variety in what you can achieve aesthetically. Now here's the coolest part. I know that I told you this thing has Wi-Fi. It only has three flame patterns with six different colors right now. So that's really 18 different flame options. They will be creating, getting back in the studio, creating more and more flame options that will be able to be put into your existing fireplace. That's awesome. So I think to me, no matter what your needs are, it literally caters visually to anything you want. We have the three dimensional flame, we have the ember bed lighting, and we can just, you can just keep playing with it till you get what, what you want. And I think that that LCD technology, that visual type fireplace, I still think it looks the best. Some people say it looks like a TV or a movie. It's, I, think it looks, I think it looks more realistic than LED lights, honestly. Like, that looks like more like a real fire than that. So I'll take that all day long. So that's why it's ranked number one is their flame looks better to me than the bold and that, that ability to cater to any homeowner uh, or whatever you're doing. My kids love getting, the, I mean, they pick something a lot really colorful and stuff and I just like it to look a little more traditional personally. But they cracked the coat. That's what I said uh, in when I did the full length video Oh, you love this fireplace, but it doesn't have sound. Well, this has sound. Oh, I love this fireplace, but it doesn't have a 220 heater. This has a 220 heater. Oh, I love this fireplace, but I hate that I can't do multicolor. You can do multicolor. Oh, I love this fireplace, but I actually don't like the flame, but it fits my needs otherwise. This you can do, change the flame. Oh, I love it, but I don't like that it's clean face. This is clean face. Oh, I love it, but it's not, it's not slim enough to fit in a two by six wall. Well, there, you have the slim model. See what I mean? Like it literally has everything and it's only going to keep improving as they keep coming up with cool new flames. Uh, only thing is, I think the logs could be a little bit beefier and I know that they're working on a variety of logs that is going to be coming out. And that's no big deal. So you can buy, if you don't love these logs, uh, you can just buy a set in the future and throw them in the fireplace. I, I think logs are a risk reward too because if they're too big and beefy, uh, they're gonna swallow up the flame, but if they're too small, they're, they're not gonna show off enough though either. These guys, born and raised Phoenix boys, I hang out with them. They, they only know, it seems like, what, what logs look like in, in the state of Arizona. These guys, you guys gotta get out to the East Coast and uh, see some big oak trees or something, but uh, it's my only critique there. Uh, anyways. That's this fireplace I'm rambling. What I will say, this is what I'm talking about with innovation. We haven't seen an electric fireplace like this in the industry. The Ignite Bolt, same thing. Like that wasn't, the Bolt isn't so much brown break, breaking technology, but it's so exciting because they took the most popular fireplace that everyone sells and made it better. So they're not just uh, you know resting on their laurels, and they're making things better and improving. In my opinion, uh, it is the electric fireplaces, these two have separated themselves so immensely. I really think it's a two-man race. Like it's an Ignite Bold or a regular Ignite or it's a Ryan series. Like it's a two-man race. Everything else is inferior. Now that being said, these are gonna be more on the pricey side. So they're not gonna be necessarily in everybody's budget. But if you're looking for the best, it's literally a two-man race. Personally, this is my favorite. Um, I have a, a, a place that I'm doing, a personal home, and uh, I'm putting in an Orion, a 70 some inch Orion. So if you wanna know what I would put in my own home, I literally am right now putting this in my own home. So that's what's going in my house because I think it looks the best. I, I love the features, I love the fact that it's future proof, and uh, I'm just going on and on, but these guys absolutely, absolutely hit it out of the park. Modern Flames and Dimplex, if you noticed, uh, they had four out of the top five fireplaces. Why? It's because they spend the most amount of time and money R&Ding products. They spend the most amount of time and money supporting their customers. It's an easy choice. I personally go with one of those two brands. Buy a Modern Flames, buy a Dimplex. Everything else is inferior. And this by far is the number one with the bold right behind it. How can I say by far and then the bold be right behind it? I'll just say this, it's a two man race and then everything else is by far, be by far behind the eight ball, which tells me you other fireplace guys that you need to, you need to get going on stuff. Like 
Where are you guys at? Where's all your cool new stuff? Let's see it. I challenge the other electric fireplace brands to make some cool new stuff because these guys are separating from you fast. We'll see you guys next time.